Filtration is just one of those skills that you need to learn if you want to do any chemistry. It is the ability to try and get a solid from a liquid. In lots of experiments you produce solids and we need to get the solid or maybe even the liquid back. Let's have a go and see if we can do this. Filtration is just one of those skills you need to learn. All you need is a funnel and it's easier if you've got something to try and hold it in. You can use a retort stand but it's not so easy as one of these dedicated filter stands and what we need to do is just to put something underneath to capture the filtrate and then we can take our solutions and here you can see I've got a couple of solutions with their bits and pieces that I've made in a previous experiment and what we need is some filter paper. Now this filter paper can be folded in one of two ways. There's a, a very quick easy way of trying to do that and that is to fold the filter paper in half and then in half again and that gives you your typical quarter and then if we just open up one of those quarters it makes a cone and that cone fits neatly inside this filter funnel. The other way of trying to do this is perhaps slightly faster at filtering but is a little bit more difficult to fold and achieve. We'll start in exactly the same way in that we'll take our filter paper and we'll fold it in half and then fold it in quarters. Now what we're going to do is we're going to fold it once more. So we've got our filter paper folded. I'm going to open it up and this time I'm going to fold it again but more like making a paper aeroplane. So I'm going to sort of fold it from the point right to the edge and try and make a nice fold and then I'm going to do the same with the other side. It's quite thick at the bottom and it can be difficult to do this. So I folded that and now I can open it right up. What we've got now is a piece of filter paper with lots of folds and what we can do is some of these folds around the wrong way so what we can do is we can concertina this right round and even if the folds are the wrong way they tend to fold on that line quite easily. You can only go so far and then you need to sort of pick it up again. And that's going to make a little series of folds which if we then stick into the funnel will make a better shape because it's got a, a larger surface area it won't quite work it never ever seems to quite work to sort of fold out but it does increase the surface area and does make the folding work to your advantage. Let's have a look and see what we've got. Here I've got some water with some manganese dioxide and I want to recover the manganese dioxide. It's best to give this a really good swirl to try and get as much of the solid suspended as we can. Let's put the filter paper in and then with a final swirl I'll dump this quickly into there and I've got a little bit left over which didn't quite go 
I can get that out a bit later and here we've got a nasty black liquid and you can see what we're getting is clear water coming out and at the top if we zoom in we can see the black of the manganese dioxide staying on the paper that's the in fact in this experiment it's the manganese dioxide I want to recover because it's poisonous and we don't really want to shove it down the sink and it's a catalyst there's nothing wrong with it it's just been used once so by filtering it we can put it on the filter paper then I can dry the filter paper and we can recover most of that back and use it again and again and again if we try this with the other one it will filter probably a little bit faster but it's up to you which one you want to use to try and do your filtration that way is quick and easy and you can see the flow rate is reasonably good as we run out however of liquid as the liquid gets lower and lower and you can see here we're now getting quite low the rate slows down there are other ways we can try and improve this by using different filter filters like a Bruckner funnel but this isn't always available to you in school so this one is the way that we use this for most techniques All right. filtration getting rid of the solid from the liquid and then we can either keep the liquid or keep the solid or perhaps even keep both